Fucking so lovely. So lovely. Hockey and steak. Come on. People, the dumpling and the banana then done already. Yeah man, bless upon yourself, you know, people. Bless upon yourself. Thanks for tuning back again. You don't know I'm here to cook some breakfast. Yeah, today it's Sunday. It's right now. It's about 8:25, and I'm going to cook some breakfast on Sunday. And you see the thumbnail. Yeah, you see the title. And some aki. Yeah, and some steak. So, um, this is the third time. This is about to be the third time now. Me I cook this. Yeah, the third time now. Um, oh, my come back. Um, come up with aki and steak. I think one time, you know, me feed for some aki and me only see the aki, but guess what? Me have some, me have some steak, but me not a sawfish. And I'm like, what me I got to know? You know, and then I'm like, just come for the idea, and like, yo, just stir fry some, some steak in the pot and cook it down. You know, make it catch cook. Eat, cause you know, steak is for cook. You know, make the eat, catch the steak a little bit, and then, you know, cook it down with some seasoning. You know, as I, as you guys see right here, some onion, you know, some, sweet pepper you know some tomato scallion thyme garlic yeah and the ackee over here so and i just you know stir i'm um, stir fry that down and then probably around three to five minutes then I add the ackee night and then another two minutes it done you know the ackee already cooked you don't know it's can ackee yeah it's can ackee that's what you get in america but yeah man you know thanks for coming back again man you know bless up everyone you don't know I'm cooking up a local breakfast time here. I don't know. Tell me how many of you guys ever tried ackee and steak. It's really good. You guys must try it. It's really good. You know, it's it, they, it's aki is what they said is Jamaica national dish. And steak, you know, American love steak. So it's like a local combination together of what American love and what Jamaican love. So, yeah, ackee and steak in the morning. So, I'm going to go ahead, man, and start to cut up my seasonings. Yeah. So, Come in, forward. Walk come with me. Walk come. Come look at me, you know, cutting up my seasoning right now. And guess what? The pot is under fire in our bubble right now. Not really in a sense fully boiled, but yeah, the water boiled up. So, you know, I'm going to slice up these first. Meanwhile, the pot, you know, I get heated. And then I go on and knead my flour. Yeah, and that is it for the day, you know, some some green banana some green banana and dumpling today um i i have pumpkin but i don't eat pumpkin i don't eat pumpkin just like that you know i have to cook the pumpkin in something you know is it i'm going to put the pumpkin in the aki which i don't you know i rather put it in like cabbage and you know stuff like that but i just can't eat boiled pumpkin like that it's just not my thing yeah but um i forgot my trainer thoughts but yeah I'm going to go ahead, man, and slice up. You see, I was saying, just remember, I just can't eat the tomato just like that. I have to cook the tomato in something or anything else or whatever, like cabbage, you know, meat. But I just can't eat the tomato raw just like this. As some people eat it, yeah? Stuff like that I have to cook up in, in the food, you know, just like I was saying about the pumpkin. But yeah, I'm forward. I'm going to cut up the stuff over here, so. <laughs> So right now I'm dice up the garlic then well fine because me is a man I really eat garlic to so that you know, just put it in the food to make it get a little flavor, you know? But don't eat raw garlic like that. So I decided to just dice up my garlic fine as possible. So
steak right here and I'm gonna slice it up on the meatloaf so can't get enough room pepper you ready for slice it up yet put it one side Steak time to get slice up, see that? Mother, I mean, yeah, nice little steak. Alright, we're there back again. So as you can see, we finished slice up the seasoning, the steak slice up, you know, um the aki tin boss. So there's a special way, you know, for oat like the aki when the oat meat, when you throw off that excessive water and all that, you know that water that used to marinate it, then you put it like in a strainer and then you run it under the under the pipe for like that little marinate water. You know, you want that water run off because that water can give it um like a spoiled taste if you don't. You know, cook the ackee right so that's why most people don't really cook tin ackee because not many people can you know get that get rid of that excessive water of the after tin ackee so yeah I'll, I, I'll show you in the direction already so you guys can see it on the screen that you know you just get the strainer and just run run it under the pipe so put the ackee inside of the strainer and then you know that's it you just leave it there for like around five or ten seconds yeah and that will be good yeah you don't just bust the ackee through off the water and then add it in something and cook it you know it, it's not going to give you just not going to give you the right taste for me you know i don't know how you guys do it but that's how i do it that's how i learned to do it you know that's how debbie teach me how to do it you know get rid of that water that little marinate water they use to carry preserve it yeah i think that's the right word yeah, yeah, water they used to preserve it so yeah get rid of that water man and get some fresh hot water from the pipe and you know get it run off and then that is it your yeah, ackee is ready to go so as you can see again this is it right here you know this is it looks so lovely steak around here so the steak pink and pretty nice little steak here and my seasoning and my aki so all right now so get this fire on it so can see the pot up on the fire right now pot a boil 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 right now so i don't know most people don't most people don't even like to need flour. That's what I realized. But I don't mind. So this is it. Look at what I need and I. So you can see this is the amount of salt I'm going to put in my flour. Cause salt already in the pot. So that is it. So um, these are some hot water. Yeah, like we need more flour. Hot water as it get it a little bit soft. You don't pin, you know have that little sponginess to it, but. Go ahead and salt out the flour right now. More than mean. Most people put on gloves. That are the next thing when they need them flour. I don't really need that. You know, I, I, I don't mind my hands get a little bit dirty in the flour. So. 
so the hotter you make the boat the water boil and easier and the more you need out the flour it's the more easier the dumpling takes for boil as my father would have said as the dumpling start float you don't know dumpling done the man they take around dumpling take around five minutes to cook and guess what the trick is you have to knead out the flour properly and get that water in the pot steaming ready to go yeah so if you don't need out the flour properly dumpling take forever to cook you have to make sure so that raw flour inside of the, the dough well need out and again hot water is really good when you need flour give it make the dough make the dough feel soft dumpling come out soft as even when that dumpling get cold up in the pot of the lucky like path dumpling still soft and nice yeah see no raw flour well need out See, some people man, they roll dumpling and dumpling neat, and every dumpling them boy, it come out exact, you know. Comment and tell me who, oh, you know, you that say that, you know, because I refer to every time them press they need flour, and you know, it really neat. Yeah man, every inch man, is just the same. I don't know how them do it, but there are some people man, they are specialists when they come out to need flour really specialist so what next after this is some some green banana as i said before yeah forgot to pick up some some yam at the store totally forget about that and i eat some yam right right now sweet see an exact shape on every dumpling you know See? Not the greatest, but it's after work. After work today. <laughs> so I guess one of them. got to the girl right now with the nails. So they can cook for the man and, and strip the banana without having to put the whole skin in the in the pot. Yeah? You got the girl in the can. Actually peel the banana skin with them fingernails because they don't have the nails. And not all I girls can do this. Not all of them are. Some of them are wear this big long finger nail and so they want to be white. Yeah man. Dumping off the skin. Um, green banana off the skin man. Some girls can do this. I'm going to tell you so they have this long 3 inch finger nail. That means they are ready. You can be a, 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 a wife or a husband. Yeah, man. Girl, I'm going to slice up them banana and put the whole like in the pot and so the skin can boil off because them can't do it or not. Nice and mean, yeah? Simple one, two, three. Just want to get a little slice in the skin. I don't want to go deep as I want to go deep in the banana. And just use your finger and a slice come around it like that. Easy, easy, one, two, three. Good thing my people and teach me for cook. Ah, some people still don't know how to do this in the screen banana thing. Yeah? But the people don't know how to do this. Some people make it look hard. They don't like as if it's hard to strip green banana and put it in your pot. See? Daily slice it come on. Nobody never really teach me this. You just look for my mother and, and and just learn and just observe. Nobody never really teach me this. I just common sense, alright. That's them though. You know when you just start do it, make a few mistakes and go right down with the slip. Right in the banana and cut out the whole like banana and then if you have enough finger on you like me, you just use a knife tip and just open it just like this. I just swallow the finger and just come right around and that is it. Just a slice on it. This so I get a peel off. So
People, the dumpling and the banana, then done already. So, let me tell you, done already. Just seven minutes, it takes seven minutes. So, my other part of my house, I'm going to go down the steak, you know, and I know the steak and the ackee done, but by the time the steak done, the ackee done, so it takes like five minutes, five to seven minutes to process all of that, the ackee and the steak. And See, so for this, I'm gonna use some salt and pepper and garlic powder and this, and then put it in another pot. Yeah, so it's on the garlic powder. A lot, some amount of salt, and then some pepper. Yeah, man so that is that is it so meanwhile you know the akian steak are finished you know cook up you know as i said I'll show you before the dumpling and the banana also cook so i'm just waiting and you know the aki and the steak to just boil up i'm um, steaming a little bit more not boil steam a little bit more you know make it own little gravy there and you know then that is that you know quick look easy one two three breakfast you know the sunday morning and you know i will present to you guys as soon as it finished so bear in mind i know i'm hungry and i know i want to taste it and i know i see the flavor to the pot and i know i see the color into the pot the green you know, the orange and the onion you know all of that you know so you guys are going to see it man. and guess what it's going to be lovely it's going to be so delicious yeah it's going to be so delicious man remember i'm only going to invite three people over yeah remember i have six cakes a dumpling and i can share two to each you know i can do it all you know you guys the one that consume any videos are the videos that i drop so three people over so each person get two dumpling and a finger banana so that is it and that's what i wrote right there so remember man don't forget to like share comment and subscribe your channel yeah man bless up see you guys back in our drifty nice and lovely man yeah nice and lovely going to add the aki now you know it's about five minutes now this cover up on a steam so the aki need to be add and then another two minutes three minutes everything will process in that and you know that is that aki and steak together it's not it's not a big difference from eating aki and sawfish and as i said if you know to cook it you will get all the same aki and sawfish flavor to it so that is it right there a bit more black pepper mm. looking so lovely so lovely happy and steak mad so i forgot to close out the video you know i know we're editing the video i realize at the ending there's no ending so yeah man people you know bless up for tuning man you know that akian steak is so wicked you know the steak we never overcook the steak as you know when me i bite through the steak you can feel the steak have a little bit of chewiness to it you know i wish you know i wish you need there could have taste a steak but yeah man it's so lovely but yeah thanks for passing through again man you know thanks yeah really appreciate the amazing support you know next video up 
shortly yeah maybe some red pea soap who knows maybe you know some salt mackerel run down um let me think about it yeah so probably around tuesday night wednesday morning that video will be uploaded yeah so thanks for watching man this is nikada travel vlog you know bless up to everyone yeah peace out